In this video, I want to talk about Tn, which is uh, the nth term, and Sn, uh, which is the sum of n terms of a geometric sequence. So what is a geometric sequence? So a geometric sequence. A geometric sequence is a sequence which increases in a given ratio, in a constant ratio. So let's, keep, let's take an example. Uh, so let's say 4, 8, 16, 32, and 64. This goes on, is in geometric sequence. Why? Because it's increasing with a common ratio. So the common ratio R is 2. 4 times 2 is 8, 8 times 2 is 16, 16 times 2 is 32, and so on. Your first term is A is 4. Okay, now if you look at this deeper, I can say T1, the first term, is in terms of A and R, can be written as 4 times 2 to the power 0. Your T2, your second term, is 4 times 8, can be written as 4 times 2, which is 4 times 2 to the power 1. Your T3, the third term, is 4 times 4 is 16, so 4 times 2 squared. 2 squared is 4, 4 times 4 is 16, your t4 is 32, which is 4 times 8, which is 4 times 2 cube. And your t5 is 4 times 16, 4 times, uh, 4 times 16 is 64, so that is 2 to the power of 4. Now if you look at this Carefully, if you look at this one, you got one year, you got a zero year, you got a two year, you got a one year, and so on. If you got a five year, you got a four year. The four and two is remaining constant. So writing in a general formula, so your Tn, your nth term of the sequence would be four of the sequence would be four times two to the power n minus one. The formula for the sequence, the nth term, if you want to find any term of the sequence, it will be 4 times 2 to the power n minus 1. So let's check this. So if you want to find, say, the sixth term, which we know is 128, would be 2 times, sorry, 4 times 2 to the power 1 less than this, which is 5, which is 4 times 32. 2 to the power of 5 is 32, which is 128. So this is how, so generally speaking, you can write Tn is equal to A times R raised to N minus 1. So if you want to find, if you know that a given sequence is a geometric sequence, you can use this formula to find any term of a sequence. So let's take an example. Let's make up a sequence. So, say 3, 9, uh, 27, 81, and so on. Is this a geometric sequence? Yes. Your A is 3. Your A, common, your first term is 3, and the ratio is also 3. Yeah. This is becoming 3 times bigger. So, 3 times, uh, sorry. I made a mistake here. Let me take a different example. This is a big, I don't want this example. So let's take a simple example. So if you want to find, say, let me make a difference. So this is eight, sorry, 16, eight, four, two, one, and so on. Okay, so here, your first term is A, which is 16, and the common ratio is half. This is becoming half. 8 divided by 16 is half. 4 divided by 8 is half. So if you want to find, say, the fifth term, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Your fifth term is 1, so using this formula, this would be 16 times half raised to 4, which is 16 times 1 16th which is 1. Okay, 
So now this is about the sequence. If you want to find the nth term of a sequence, we use this formula. So let's come now to the series. Now series is the addition of the sequence. Geometric series. That means we want to find the sum of the geometric se sequence. So Sn uh, would be of your first term would be a r you can write the first term is a your second term would be a times r your third term this is your first term t1 this is t2 this is your t3 t3 would be a r squared and so on and if you go on your nth term your t n would be a r to the power n minus 1 as we saw just now. So how can we add this? Now for to add this, we're going to do a trick. So I'm going to write s, uh, I'm going to multiply both sides by r. So r times sn, I'm multiplying the left hand side by r. So this will become a r, a times sn would become, this first term would become a r. Your second term would become a r squared. The third term will become a r cube plus and your last term if you multiply this by r the last term is going to be a r to the power n. So let me write let me leave some space here I need some gap here. So if you, if you rewrite s n can I write this as a plus a r squared a r plus a r squared plus a r cube plus and you will finish with a r n minus 1. Okay now the term here you can write you can add plus a r n minus 1 the term before, if you multiply the term before a r n minus 1 is going to be a r n minus 2 and if you multiply r to it, it's going to be a r n minus 1. Now I'm going to draw a line here and I'm going to do r times s n minus s n. I'm going to take away this from this. So what will happen, this and this will get cancelled, everything will get cancelled except the first term from this and the, the last term from this and the first term from here. So what remains is a r times a r n minus a minus a. Okay, so now if you factor out s n from the left hand side you have r minus 1 and if you factor out a you have r to the power n minus 1. Now dividing both sides by uh, r minus 1 this is the formula a times r to the power n minus 1 divided by r minus 1. So this is a neat formula which is at times difficult to understand how they got this formula. So let's check this formula by taking its geometric sequence. So let's take the sequence that we took 4, 8, uh, 16, 32, 64. So let's add this. This will go on. Let's find S phi. S phi without the formula would be 4 plus 8 plus 16 plus 32 plus 64. So let's use it. With a, let's use a calculator. So menu run 4 plus 8 plus 16 plus 32 plus 64 which is 124. If you add the first five terms of this geometric sequence you get 124. Let's confirm. Yeah that's right. So using that formula, your S phi 
the S5 using that formula is A. A is the first term, which is 4. R is the common ratio, which is 2 to the power 5 minus 1 divided by 2 minus 1. So this is 4 times. This is how much? 32 minus 1, which is 31 divided by 1, which is 124. So this is a neat formula to remember. Sn is equal to A times. You can prove this yourself. A times R to the power N minus 1 divided by R minus 1. In some books, they also give you the same formula in a different way. This is A times 1 minus R to the power N divided by 1 minus R. So basically, they are one and the same. What they have done is they have swapped this around. So this and this gives you the same answer.